Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I'm just going to quickly go over our budget for the month of April. Um, this is basically what we have going on, okay? Um, or at least this is like what we usually have going on. Well, it's hard to say usually because the past several months it's really not. <laughs> um, but this is what we, this is like our ideal, this is the, these are the ideal places we'd like to set money aside. In. Wait, what? This is the ideal, like, breakdown categories, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so we have one, two, three, four different, like, main categories. So we have the, the you know, our bills that we have to pay. Here are our cash envelopes. Here are some revolving sinking funds, and here are our long-term sinking funds. And then these here are like our savings categories for now. This is how we have it set up. I apologize for my handwriting. I don't know what the heck happened <laughs> here. So hopefully you can make it out just fine. Okay, so let's get started. Income, I don't have a number for this because um, my husband's supposed to start working here pretty soon. So hopefully... Um, you know, we can get it all figured out for now. So basically for the budget right now, I'm just going to do, again, the bare minimums. And then I will tell you which funds here um, we will we will start, you know, like the priorities of the extra, extra funds and savings and whatnot. So I'm going to go over our real numbers as far as our bills go. So let me go ahead and fill that in. Okay, so here are our bills for the month. We have rent, we have our um, utilities, which is just basically electricity. Uh, we have Verizon, we have Apple. This is, if you are new here, I, um, I usually put $20 away for this because I have my Apple storage, which is just a couple of dollars, but then my little brother, he likes um, for me to burn music onto CDs, so I just buy the music from iTunes. But... Um, Recently, he's just been asking for a bunch of repeat music, so I still have a little bit of credit there, so I'm not putting anything away for that this time. Safeco is our auto insurance car. I didn't write anything down, but that's $130. That's a car payment. Uh, Wi-Fi, $75. Gym, $11. Cricket, um, $11. My life insurance, $42. And then our medical debt payment is $240. We only have two um, debts. Well, kind of. Technically, we still own my husband's phone, too. But um, this here, 190, is for four lines plus my... Oh, no. It's five lines. Five lines, and um, we're still paying on my husband's phone. My parents do pay for their portion, so I... You know, this whole thing does not fall on us, but I put the entire amount there. Um, that's just what I feel more comfortable doing. So, let's go ahead and add up our bills for April. Okay, so for Verizon, I do believe it's actually 196, not 190. So, um, anyway, this this calculator and me are not friends. That's why it's been put away for a while. So, the total here is $1,894. That's just for our bills, not including anything else. That's just for our bills and our two debt payments. So, for... Um, that's how much I need. So if you've been following me, then you know that when I do my weekly budgets, let me flip to one. Here, so you'll see here a few weeks of my weekly budget. Here, bills and expenses, it's April bills, $300. April bills, $500. Uh, April bills, $397. Um, that week where I didn't film one, I was going to tell you guys that I transferred money over from our 
first line of defense <laughs> we have several like pockets where we keep money and so i had to dig into that first line of defense which is the buffer in our checking account to um, transfer that over for april bills so we have enough money in our april bills account um, like little separate savings account to cover all of our bills for april so that um that is a huge blessing so this is covered so as of right now when i'm filming this march 29th i have this money here um to start paying my bills for the month of april so for our cash envelopes i am not gonna fill this out because this might vary from week to week you know since my husband is starting work soon so typically i like to do a hundred or a hundred and twenty dollars for groceries um my husband's been getting 10 or 15. My son gets 20, 25, or 30, just depending on um, how much he has or what needs he has coming up. Um, Dates has been getting $10. Gas is getting a steady $45. We might need to bump that up now that my husband will be driving more. And by driving more, I mean driving in general. <laughs> he doesn't really get out uh, very much. Um, Eat Out has been getting 10 uh, child care. I'm going to start putting away um, money for that again every week. So you'll see that. So this is my overall April budget. I'm not going to like fill it in right now because I really don't know what changes are going to need to be made um, going forward. So that I will take that on a week by week basis. Um, I just like filling this out. So I have like a big picture idea of you know everything instead of just taking it week by week i have one place where i have everything written down um even though i don't have it filled out with numbers so here are the two categories of sinking funds that i have i have revolving and i have long term so revolving means you know things come up i will you know more often here and then these things here are probably like once a year or things that are coming up in the next year or two that we need to save up for so what i've been doing recently since we've been on one income is basically i've been very steady with our anniversary with five dollars a week and then i started putting money away for birthdays and this is birthday slash gifts so we have my mom's birthday mother's day my dad's birthday father's day all of that is coming up here just you know just around the corner so um, I've been putting money away for things like that so those I will continue to do that and then once my husband starts getting paid we will go through and start prioritizing what else needs to be have money in it um, something else that I did um, behind the scenes is all of the savings challenge money that I had put away I took it out of the savings challenge binder or account because I've been using prop money but I took all of that out of those savings challenge um, sinking funds and I reassigned it to um, these things that are important and that are coming up that I have not been able to, that we've not been able to save for, such as um, legal, the legal envelope. My husband is here. Uh, he is originally from Brazil, so we have been going through the immigration process with him. And um, we just feel more comfortable going through an attorney to make sure that everything is um, on the up and up and legit and updated and all of that so you know he obviously charges us for that service and then we also have a bunch of filing fees that we have to pay so um i that um i put a bunch of money in there i put money into the wedding my brother is getting married later this year and we're gonna have to travel to that so um, I put money away to those those two things. Um, so I think we're good on legal. Um, I might put a little bit more money in there. I don't know. Um, I have to go back and look and see what the estimated cost is going to be for the next step because that is coming up at the end of this year slash beginning of next year. Um, wedding, I still think that we need to put more money in here because everything is just so expensive especially the time of year that they're getting married. It's just it's so expensive. Um, so I need to do that. And I need to make sure that I have money away for our memberships, my gym yearly annual fee and Amazon, my Amazon Prime yearly fee both come out in the same month. So I need to go and add up how much um, I need for both of those and see how much I have in there now and make sure that I put away enough to cover that. So that is um, 
those are the next two that are like oh and christmas i need to put money away for christmas because i think we have like literally ten dollars <laughs> so um i want to do that and then i'm going to add another one for this and i think i'm going to put it here I was thinking about keeping it in the savings challenge binder because that is where that current envelope that is where that envelope is currently but i don't want to i want to budget for that i want to make sure that i'm putting money away for that um every week his birthday will be here before we know it he's already six months old <laughs> so um i want to make sure that we're putting away money for him specifically um apart from this one here because we you know we're gonna want to have a little party and by party i mean just us him and probably my parents and brother <laughs> so um that is kind of where our priorities stand right now as far as sinking funds go uh, but really we're gonna have to hit these ones hard um the house you know is a big goal that we had this year to save up for our house to be able to buy here in the next year or two um, and have a really hefty down payment but um with my husband not working the past um two and a half basically three months it has really um you know we haven't made any progress on that so i want to make sure that we hit that big time i want to make sure that we put more money away in our emergency fund we didn't have to touch our technical emergency fund <laughs> but i mean if i'm if i'm dipping into our buffer then i'm dipping into our emergency funds even though it's not labeled emergency fund if that makes sense so i want to make sure that i put money away in there um i'm good i've had a larger buffer than usual because of the current situation but when he starts working, I'm going to bring that buffer back down to um, where we usually have it. And I'm going to put all of the extra amount into the emergency fund. So that is kind of where we are right now for April and what our you know, priorities are going to be. The scratch off money that I, that I accumulate, I think I'm going to separate it into Costco because that's something that... Um, you know we need to we need to go buy things at costco and we have as of like last week we spent all of the money in there so the scratch off money is probably going to go into costco and um other things so we'll figure it out when we get to that point but for right now this is what we are uh dealing with and working with and looking i am i'm just i'm looking forward to being able to um prepare for upcoming things and also make some progress on our goals um I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it made sense. I hope that if you're going through something similar that you're able to just to sit down and it's okay. You know, I, it's okay. It really, I've really been okay with not being able to stuff everything, but I am really looking forward to being able to stuff more things. And really it's been an eye opening experience. I feel like we, um, me, and by we, I mean me, myself, <laughs> have uh, been able to open my eyes and really try to prioritize which funds are the most important. I do feel like our funds, our sinking fund categories are pretty minimal. Some might be a little extra like holidays, but I know that I like to buy things, you know, when holiday see when the holidays come around. Um, so I know that I need to put money away for things like that. But in general, I feel like I am pretty minimal in the amount of sinking funds that I have. But even with that, um, due to our situation i have really had to narrow it down even more and really really um decide which ones are the highest priority so um obviously my husband staying in the country is a pretty high priority so <laughs> i put money away you know to make sure that we have all of his stuff um up to date so um yeah i hope I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Unless your question is, why is your handwriting so ugly? Please <laughs> um, just, just ignore that. Um, anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, bye.